Have you ever wondered why your mare acts a certain way during a certain time of the year? Does she get symptoms such as a raised tail, relaxation of the vulva, frequent urination, apparent desire for company of other horses, and slight mucus discharge of the vulva? Then she must be going through the estrus cycle! Before we get into what the estrus cycle is, we must know the parts of the horse that are important for the estrus cycle. First, there is the brain, where the pituitary gland resides and where all the hormones come from. Then there is the vagina, or the birth canal. Followed by the uterus, where the baby would grow if the mare gets pregnant, and the ovaries, where the eggs are. Now, to explain how the hormones work between the brain and the ovaries, we're going to have some larger-than-life pictures to help fully understand what actually goes on. The estrous cycle starts when the brain sends out the follicle-stimulating hormone to the ovaries to tell it to produce a graphene follicle. Once that happens, the estrogen re is released, which is the hormone that makes the mare act differently. It also causes the cervix to relax. Later on, the brain sends out the luteinizing hormone to the ovary to make the graphene follicle do the following. <laughs> okay, so maybe we took it out of context just a little bit. Here's what really happens. Once the graphene follicle is birthed, progesterone is released in order to maintain the pregnancy if it does occur. However, if the mare does not become pregnant, then the hormone PGF2-alpha is released, which starts the entire estrus cycle all over again. Now let's review. The brain releases the follicle-stimulating hormone to tell the ovary to create a graphene follicle. After that, the ovary releases estrogen, which causes the mare to act differently and also causes the cervix to relax. In response, the brain sends out the luteinizing hormone, which causes the graphene follicle to burst. Then, the ovary sends back progesterone, which tells the body and brain to maintain the pregnancy if the mare gets pregnant. However, if the mare does not get pregnant, the brain then releases PGF2-alpha, which then starts the cycle all over again. And now you know how the estrus cycle works.